أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قد أفلح المؤمنون الذين هم في صلاتهم خاشعون والذين هم عن اللغو معرضون والذين هم للزكاة فاعلون والذين هم لفروجهم حافظون إلا على أزواجهم أو ما ملكت أيمانهم فإنهم غير ملومين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وحده الصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to the first episode of what will be a series of classes, inshallah, throughout this blessed month of Ramadan, whereby we will be taking you through a range of topics that are essential in the life of a Muslim. Today's episode will be from our first series, Adhkar of Salah, in which, inshallah, we will be concentrating uh, on the remembrances and supplications that are done within Salah. Salah is perhaps the most important act of ibadah in the life of a Muslim. And it is followed upon every single Muslim and Muslima to study about it and uh, perfect it and uphold it to the best of its ability. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah An-Nisa, Inna salata kanat ala al-mu'minina kitaban mawkufa. Allah says, surely, salah is an obligation upon the believers that is tied up with time. And to emphasize on the importance of salah. The Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in a hadith recorded in the Sahih of Imam Muslim rahimahullah, narrated by Jabir radiallahu anhu, the Prophet alayhi sallam said, inna bayna rajuli wa bayna shirki wal kufr tarka salah. Verily, between a man and shirk and disbelief is abandoning of salah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said that salah is the key, is a key to Jannah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the five times daily salah compulsory upon every Muslim. And it is mandatory upon each and every Muslim to learn and perfect the integrals of salah. As we know, the initial stages of salah is what we is when we transition into a completely different state of mind. It is the stage at, at which uh, we enter into a conversation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is of utmost importance that we begin the salah with the right mind, with the right focus. Let's look at two of the most prominent du'as that are taught to us by the Prophet of Allah وسلم, in his sunnah uh, that we use in the beginning of salah. The first of which is from the hadith recorded in the Sahih of Imam Muslim rahimahullah, on the authority of Ali ibn Abi Talib. He says, when the Prophet of Allah وسلم, began his prayer, he would say, وَجَّهْتُ وَجِهِيَ لِلَّذِي فَتَرَ السَّمَاوَأْتِ وَالْأَرْضَ حَنِيفًا مُسْلِمًا وَمَا أَنَا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِي لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ وَبِذَلِكَ أُمِرْتُ وَأَنَا مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Subhanallah, such a beautiful, comprehensive dua. To summarize the meaning of this dua, we are confirming that our entire focus and concentration is channeled towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the initiation of salah. And we are completely free from any form of shirk and disbelief. And we say, indeed my prayer, my sacrifice, my life, my death, all of this belongs to you, O Allah. We are declaring that everything about us, surrounding us, belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, subhanAllah. In another very uh, prominent dhikr that the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to recite in the beginning of salah is what we know as thana. This is found in a hadith reported by Imam Tirmidhi rahimahullah. On the authority of Aisha radiallahu anha, she says that when the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam started his prayer, he would say, Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik, wa tabarak asmuk, wa ta'ala jadduk, even with this dua, we are aligning ourselves to stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
we are saying purity from all faults in its entirety belongs to you O Allah and we send him praise we send we confirm his greatness uh, these useful du'as are paramount in the salah of your Muslim and by reading these du'as, reading these adhkar, it shifts the focus of a Muslim to the realm of salah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept all of our ibadat in this month of Ramadan to help us understand and perfect our salah to his happiness. وَآخِرْ دَعْوَايَ أَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ وَبِلْ عَالَمِينَ السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Inshallah, if you want more content just like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And also, leave a like, comment, and share, inshallah, to gain more reward when your friends and family practice what's been taught. Remember to hit the notification bell to get notified when the next episode gets released. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.